This is a Highland 20 volt 2 amp power supply kit sold on AliExpress, Banggood, and eBay. eBay I know has had them since probably 2015. When I say Highland, I'm referring to the original manufacturer. They all seem to be marked like this. And when I say it's a 2 amp 20 volt power supply, it's a digitally controlled analog power supply. So it's the best of both worlds. There's digital display, current and voltage uh, adjust and limit, whatever, is by encoders. But the actual supply, measurement of current, and voltage is done by analog devices. Now this kit contains all of the parts to populate these two boards. In addition to assembly, you have to provide a heat sink and preferably a heatsink fan. The heatsink I believe is 50 millimeters square. The fan is 50 millimeters. And I believe eBay has them for this board. You have to supply AC or DC power to this thing. And then you have to supply knobs switches and an enclosure. This thing costs between fifteen and twenty dollars on any one of the big three sites. Now I've done a seven part series on this kit. You can look back on my channel and see them. I assembled and installed this supply in this enclosure, a bigger enclosure. I powered it with a transformer, which is what I have in this case. So made one that I supplied with a pair of 16 volt switching power supplies that I connected in series. I provide templates for drilling, cutting out, and making these templates for the various cases. When I did that series of videos, and more recently, after it's sort of uh, slowed down, I received some questions about troubleshooting. And so I prepared a schematic. I relied heavily on this fellow. I don't know him. He has a schematic on the uh, internet. I'll link you to it. I did a drawing of the power supply board. All the components are there. It's not necessarily scale. And I've picked 12 points. I marked them on a schematic with circles and numbers. And I'll measure voltages at these points. And maybe I'll measure resistance to ground. I haven't decided that whether to do that or not. And I'll try to mark the measured points also here on the board layout. One thing you need to know about this power supply is that the whole bunch of internal components reference to what they call ground. That is not the negative output of the power supply. The negative output of the power supply is offset by 0.47 ohms. The actual voltage difference between the 
negative side of the power supply and the common internal ground varies with current to about one volt whenever two amps is being drawn. So I'll get busy and fill in this column. I'll post all of this with this video and I'll retro post this and the other things I add to my previous seven videos. After you assemble all the components on the board, and of course at some point you're going to have to do this display board, but I'm only concentrated for the time being on the uh, Highland calls the main board. I know that eBay is offering this heat sink, which pretty well mates with a 50 millimeter fan. It uh, move this out of the way here. It overhangs slightly on the sides. It has no overhang top and bottom. When I say top and bottom, the heat sink's mounted vertically. On this one, I drilled and tapped a 3 by 0.5 millimeter hole. The hole's not centered this way. The heat sink sits like this, and the fan, I need to check the direction of which direction this fan is. I want to blow air against the heat sink like this. I'm going to have to drill four holes here and either tap them or make them through holes. I believe I I've made in the past some of them through holes because I intend to use two of those holes as through holes to clamp this sensor which is a fan on off switch to the heat sink. I have to see how I intend to do that. It seems as if these two holes are designated as the heat sink attaching holes. They are not connected to anything. So when you install your heat sink, if you don't use an insulating washer, and I don't, between the uh, uh, Q1 and the heat sink, this heat sink is at input bus voltage. So make sure if you use a metal enclosure, you're not making contact with the heat sink in any way. I intend to use some tapping screws. These heat sinks are reduced in this, this area here. See how this rounds in the extrusion? That will accept a 3 millimeter tap, and I think it will accept a 3 millimeter uh, sheet metal screw. Well, quite a bit of an effort. It did self tap. I recommend you tap them with either the screw or a tap. In the event of a sheet metal screw, with a sheet metal screw. In the event of a uh, machine screw with a 3 millimeter tap prior to installation on the board. Here's the setup I'm going to use to measure voltages. I have a 24 volt. 2 amp Radio Shack transform. A couple of Wago blocks here with the power coming into it. I've got it set for 12 volts, 1 amp. It's not current limiting. And I've got the uh, dummy loads each set for half an amp. So that comes to 1 amp. A good ground connection can be made to this side of the current measuring resistor here. The fan is on. The fan you hear running is the dummy load. I've left this setup run for about an hour. Uh, the first thing I did was adjust the output voltage with a meter I trust. That is to say, put the trusted meter across this output. 
I adjusted this very small potentiometer. There's only one. To make, in my case, 12 volts on this display match 12 volts on my trusted meter. This is a very nice control. I can, I can work in uh, thousands of a volt. With, it's a 10 turn uh, tensiometer. It's very adjustable. And I believe, let me go back and check it, it says 12.05 on my meter, 12 volts there, that's fine. Just for curiosity, uh, this thing's setting 12 volts at 1 amp. They supposed to be 25.2 volt transformer. Actually, is. Indicates 26.19. So those are the parameters that I'm going to base the filling out of the voltages. I have indicated on the drawing where these points are. One, two, three. I've also located them on the not to scale layout. One, two, three, ground, and so on. I finished with this, and I've made some corrections, and I've taken some readings, and I'll fill this out. I'll put some notes on it, and I'll provide this as a PDF, along with some other stuff in the description below. Thumbs up, of course. Please subscribe. Thank you.